Hi Ryan, how's it going? Yeah, good. How's things? Yeah, not too bad. Um, same as last the other guys, really. How excited are you for the new competition? Yeah, really excited. Um, obviously, you know, last season was a long haul, long haul, uh, long haul season. Um, so it was nice having the, you know, the the off season, four or five weeks off, and just feel refreshed now. You know, ready uh, for this uh, new competition. We've had, well, I've had about five weeks of pre pre season so far which has uh, been really tough, obviously, with uh, the new coaches and things coming in. But um, it's been uh, really re refreshing, really. So it's exciting now to be able to hopefully put, you know, put the stuff we've been working on in training, you know, into, into our performances in the game. Yeah, and Dwayne's philosophy um, rubbing off on you in training already? Yeah, well, obviously, he was uh, accustomed to, you know, hard work as a, as a player. He, I think he prided himself on his fitness. So uh, we've also had it pretty tough. And he's brought in a new uh, head of performance, um, Nigel, um, who's come from uh, Australia, which is like a you know rugby league background as well. So them boys, as, as you know, are pretty fit. So we've uh, we've had a bit of a beast in, but um, you know it's it's definitely good. It's what we've needed. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know you know it's exciting. Yeah. Is this the year, Ryan, that you push the old man out of the uh, the starting lineup in in the middle of the actually front row, or are you just going to bide your time? I don't know. He's like Benjamin Button. Man. He won't go away, will he? No. Um, yeah. Well, it might be. It could be. I'm hoping well, I'm I'm so. Well, you've um, made him. You've made him get better and better by pushing him harder and harder. Well, I'd like to say I've, you know, maybe contribute, contributed a little bit, um, but I don't know. Uh, he's obviously, you know, he's a had and is having a great career. Um, you know, he's a two-time lion. You know that uh, so, you know speaks for itself. Um, you know, I've no respect to Ken. Um, me and him get on well. Both Kamali and boys, uh, obviously from the same town, same school, etc. But uh, at the end of the day, I you know I also want that two jersey. So you know. I guess it's great for the Scarlets if you know both of us are you know, competing and pushing each other. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it would be it would be nice. Yeah. Well, he's probably so old that you you chased around him trying to get his autograph when you were younger, did you? Yeah, he was funny enough. Yeah, yeah. I used to I used to watch him as a kid um, around my mate's house, and uh, we always used to get excited because obviously he was in a similar position for. A number of years behind Matthew Reese, and uh, um, we'd all be shouting, "Oh, look, Ken's coming on!" for the last maybe five, ten minutes uh, of the game. And uh, he was obviously starting his career back then. And uh, I know what it feels like coming on for five, ten minutes. Yeah. the The interesting thing is that if if you are going to stake a claim, you know, maybe having these South African sides in the new tournament uh, will be another proving ground. And you know coming up against some big, big uh, forwards, you can show exactly what you can do. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Um, as I said, like, for me, uh, you know, it was off, off, after coming back uh, uh, after last season, having that four weeks off, four or five weeks off was great. Um, but now, you know, I feel refreshed, I feel fit, I feel strong. And uh, just looking forward to, you know, hopefully kicking on a bit more this year. Um, in my eyes, I'm still... You know, I'm still fairly young, and uh, even though I've, you know, I've got over 100 caps and things, uh, appearances then for the Scarlets, and you know, a few caps, you know, I haven't actually played, you know, minutes-wise, you know, a great deal. Um, mm -hmm. So I still feel fresh in the mind, fresh in the body, as I said, 26. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping now this could be the year where I, you know, kick on a bit, and yeah, you know. What a better you know place to start than against the big South African sites. Sam Parry, even Phillips, Elliot D, uh, even Kirby Myhill's uh, throwing his hat back in the ring uh, with a resurgence at the Blues. I mean, it's a competitive position, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's re you know, it has been now for a number of years. Um, you know, I'm guessed, I'm guessing they're all saying and thinking the same thing. So, you know, I get, I guess it's great for Welsh rugby because. You know, it was an exciting uh, pool of, uh, you know, tidy hookers coming through. Um, 
you know, but obviously someone's going to get that to your jersey, so we'll see. Scarlets have been the best of the, the Welsh for a, for a while, but it looks as though the, your noisy neighbours, the Ospreys, are putting their hand up again now and uh, thrusting forward. If you could be the best of the, uh, the Welsh regions, where do you think that could take you? Um, yeah, well, you know, we haven't, we, we haven't spoken about targets and things as such, but uh, for us, it's more concentrating on our, you know, performance week in, week out. Um, you know, if the performance... Uh, you know, is from training is, you know, translating to the game, then, you know, the results should take care of themselves. You know, we've worked hard, you know, I'm not saying the other regions haven't, I've heard, you know, they've had it pretty hard too, but um, yeah, you know, it'll be, it would be great to, you know, qualify for Europe next year, sit in top of the, you know, the Welsh regions um, and also, uh, you know, see where it takes us uh, with the, with the European Cup. You know, we went on that run a couple of years ago where we made the semi-finals. Who knows? Great. Thanks, Philip. Best of luck. Nice one. Cheers. Hi, Ryan. Um, uh, Will Griff, John, new signing. Uh, How has he settled in? You played in the front three alongside him uh, for the first time last last week against Leicester. Yeah, he's uh, he's been a great addition to the squad. You know, as you can see, he's a big, he's a big old specimen. Um, he's a good bloke too. You know, he works hard. Um, and yeah, I thought he, you know, we, I thought we went well as a new net as front row up here, up in Le uh, Leicester. You know, it's a, it's a good test that against the likes of uh, Dan Cole, um, Ellis Genge and Tom Youngs. You know, there's plenty of experience there. And uh, yeah, I thought uh, we fared, you know, pretty well against them. Uh, towards the end of last season, you you were you, uh, you know had an opportunity to captain Nervous uh, Scarlet. Um, would you like to uh, you know again have a chance to lead again at some point this season? Yeah, well, uh, it, it caught me by surprise. Really, I didn't I didn't see it coming, um, and I didn't really know what to think at, at at first. You know about me, you know being in that role. Um, but yeah, I, looking back, I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought I helped help my game a little bit more. I took my mind off maybe, you know, other pressures and, you know, um, you know, I don't know. It's just take pride in being the captain and wanting to be that leader, um, you know. And what the boys are all listening and looking at you. Um, yeah, I, uh, I thought it was great. And yeah, who, who knows? Maybe, maybe in the future, I, I, I definitely wouldn't turn it down. Uh, finally, for me, um, you know, how good is it now for the fans to be back on a more, you know, regular basis now for the season ahead? You know, particularly, um, you know, there might be some young people out there, you know, and haven't been to rugby before, etc. So, how important is it that the fans are back? Oh, it's massive. Um, you know, I'd say it was the same for everyone last year, but I thought we, you know, us on the Scarlets, I thought we maybe struggled a little bit at times. You know, not having the home fans there. Um, you know, they give us such a boost. Um, and for me, it's the moments after the game, you know, maybe after a big win, you know, against maybe in the, in the Welsh Derbies or an European Cup game at home and you've had that big win, it's that buzz in the stadium after the game where you get to, you know, I guess go for a walk on the stadium, soak it all up. The fans are still there showing their support. Uh, you know, that's uh, some of the best things, you know, about rugby for me. And obviously, you know, on a personal note, getting to see your family, your friends after the game, catching up, yeah. So really looking forward to that this year. And there's probably a few boys, you know, that broke through with us last year. You know, they haven't experienced any of that yet. So, you know, it's exciting for them, you know, to be able to say experience that for the first time as well. Great. Thank you, Ryan. All the best. Ryan Kupulungabrag. Point to get for us is Lawrence Nassi. Sorry, Dav, you cut out there, mate. Can you uh, repeat the question? Sorry. Uh, yeah, Ryan, Tina do you want to give it now? I do, yeah. Um, our old colour off season, I have a couple of, well, Pedro and Pimputh myself, um, in terms of fresh, about our event, I'm a Tomar Nessa, from my Dwayne Fordwood now with Rido Mounir Garvan. Uh, um, well, my good buzz round the um, 
the Dwayne board in uh, West Wales and vid my then uh, rub off for a boys. Got our culture, Pethavala, um, my wife would be board Galed and um, very enjoyable vid. So yeah, just come around it tomorrow. Uh, kick on off now. Yeah, just come around it. Well, can now go in all vid. Why do you guys can now go in? Roy, you give a ram bar since tomorrow. Yeah, but then. Uh, Oedd o'n galed tymor dwetha, obviously oedd o'n galed i pawb, ond um, nethon ni'n neth ni sruglo, fi'n meddwl, ddim, ddim cael y ffans uh, yn dilyn ni, neu chywod, jyst cael y pac taws, lawr yn uh, parc ysgalet, mae fe'n wneud gwaneth enfawr i ni, fel uh, clwb, chywod, sy'n byd well ar diwedd gêm, os chi wedi um, cael big win, falle, yr ben un o'r uh, team oedd... Uh, well, Stabi squid at near European Cup. Simply greatly well, the fans are all again. Um, I got like my medal, he well, he pulled ball. Um, so yeah, now we think this come on, he might have there. Yeah, I'm a new kid, my question in this game, eh? With the commission, I cover a gun rare. I have to cover out of a summer man. Um, well, so neither try uh, targets. Um, Lauretta, um, Bathen, Mel Neiman, Nos, Nos, and Rubeth, and um, just kind of bleach your what performed a team quid. Uh, obviously, my power, uh, Vlad Verkin set or individual with all targets with Vlad, and um, yeah, just could be thrown with what's my performed and Vara Ka, Vlad Vermar, um, can then yada in dealing with so, um. Yeah, it just could be thought and proud of it's me, Roy Master Ka. Yeah, and Sikir, I team her so on Ryan to the Punkus. But tomorrow, our team for the other guys in the quarter tip in Bachan Moy Dechram, your game. Clue see them a Dechram game now, and a sentence now, and um, yeah, I mean, this come line, we thought. Well, chwarae uh, mwy o dan uh, Dwayne Peel na beth fydd y chwarae um, yna tymorau dwetha, ond uh, yeah, fel weiris fi, mi'n teimlo'n um, teimlo fresh. Aha, um, mae'n ddigon yn y tanc dy fi ar ôl, obviously, dim ond 26 nawr, so um, gawn ni'n weld uh, fel mae'r tymor yn dechrau a fynd, ond uh, yeah, edrych mlaen i mi. Diolch, Ryan. Go man, diolch.